Hey everybody. So I don't know if this lighting is okay, but we will certainly try it and then just let me know if it works. I I have my uh, bag of uh, post Halloween spirit, spirit Halloween purchases. Uh, and I thought that I would go ahead and share them with you. Um, the grand total after everything was $86. So it was supposed to be obviously like around 160. Um, Spirit definitely has gotten more expensive as unfortunately everything kind of has. Uh, so it, I didn't get that much this year, but quite frankly, they didn't have that much to offer. So, I mean, I went other times as well, but for the final, you know, sale, I didn't get that much. I didn't get any costumes. The only costume piece I got was one thing for my mom, but, but that was it. So I got eyelash adhesive because it was a big tube and it was only $1.50 after, afterwards. Um, baby girl, I like this choker because it's got the chain and I can use a chain extender if I have to. Although ever since I've been losing weight, um, chokers have been fitting on me better and like I don't really have to modify them I thought this was insanely cute so I might have to poke another hole but these were adorable too I found all the cutesy stuff um of course have to get fangs gotta get fangs I gotta fit mine I can't do them in my canines because I have a um, rhinestone on my one canine, so therefore I have to do them on my eye teeth. Oh, these are cool. There's some stiletto nails. I've been into wearing stilettos more. I've been able to deal with them more. I don't know. Um, I thought this was just a great palette. They always have these great, like, little, like, things of glitter, so always get that. <laughs> I thought these were beautiful, and they had them in plus size. Um, I got regular plus size tights as well. And lastly with the tights, I had worn these in a fashion show that I was in, um, and they lasted the entire day, and I was wearing them the entire day, and it was hot out, and they stayed comfortable. So I ended up getting another pair of them just because these, for some reason, you cannot peel these. And I still have the ones from the fashion show. And I've worn them quite a few times. So I did get clear liquid latex for my lace front wigs. Um, I love wearing these when I can. <laughs> so I got these. They almost look exactly like the ones I wore on Halloween, but they're not, they're different. Um, I got some cute pastel, pastel goth socks, you know, the ones that are like tie dyed with like a shroom, no, not a shroom, a uh, potion, so that's cool. Uh, oh, just a really cool thin and thick eyeliner. Okay. So it's all like actual stuff I'm going to be using. I didn't get any of the home decor, you know, it's like, I like the spooky home decor, but I feel like a lot of their stuff is all like the, and don't get me wrong, Hocus Pocus, Haunted Mansion, Chucky, I like all those things, but I'm not gonna decorate my whole house with just that, you know what I mean? Like I wanna have a cute room and a scary room, but I feel like all they have is licensed and most of it is not, it's like not just like the generic cute Halloween stuff. So I got a mushroom pen, I thought that was really pretty. I thought these were cute pastel goth pens. I've been doing a lot of pastel goth and bubble goth and sugar. I, I kind of call myself like sugar punk. I do goth, obviously, and I love wearing sugar punk. I found pastel critters. So rats, spiders, skulls, all pastel. So I thought that was cute. What else do I have? I think I have only two. Okay, yes. Thing number one is a pair of Kawaii Ghost earrings. And then lastly, 
is a really cool 90s looking witchy spider ring. So, um, my final opinions of Spirit this year were, was that Spirit didn't do, to, in my eyes, anything really different. I noticed they had more like Wednesday Adams, obviously, um, style things, not only licensed, but like their generic Wednesday Adams style dress that I have like five different ideations of because I love the that style and um they had more of like the single pieces like to build your own costume like with corsets and like the booty shorts and things like that but at the same time their sizes were lacking I mean and you know I'm, I'm saying this being a plus size woman, um, who I usually, I usually take, depending on the cut of a piece of clothing, it's usually anywhere between a 2X or sometimes a 4X, depending on what it's, where, what it is. And when it comes to like costumes and stuff, Halloween stuff, obviously it always has to be plus size. Even way back when, like 20 years ago when I was much thinner, um, even back then when I was in my teens um I always needed plus size anyway because really who are those things made for those costumes I don't know but anyway um so yeah I think I got some pretty good stuff from Spirit this year and I am hoping to um you know see about going to the opening of the flagship store maybe in 2024 I don't know this past year was really hot out, so I didn't go. But anyway, have a good night, guys.